okay so in this video we will now work on our camera okay so first of all right here we need to set up the buttons for our camera movement and rotation click on this actions plus icon it will create a new action let's name this as camera movement let's delete this binding let's click on this plus sign and add another binding and in here what we're gonna do we're gonna search for delta actually we need to first of all delete this again click on camera movement and change this to pass through and then this to vector to okay then after this click on add binding select this binding and search for delta mouse okay so using our mouse our camera will rotate around the player okay and we also want to rotate the camera using our joystick or you can say controller as well and as you know that in most of the games the camera rotate using the right stick okay so let's add up down left right composite let's name this as right stick okay for the up we're gonna select the right stick up okay in here we're gonna select the right stick down and make sure that you select this gamepad option okay and for the left we're gonna select right stick slash left and then for the right we're gonna select right stick slash right gamepad okay that's it if you click on cross sign it will give this option so click on save and that's it so now our controls are ready let's open up the input manager script and now let's read these controls just as we did for the movement okay in the same manner so we're gonna create a public vector 2 by the name of camera input then right down below we're gonna copy this paste it and now we're gonna say camera actually this will be player controls then in the player movement we have the camera movement and then in the camera movement we have the camera input okay this is actually this vector to camera input so we're gonna read the values and store that values in this vector to camera input if we save the script and start our game now if i move the mouse to the left side as you can see x is changing and to the right side it is going in plus values and up and down as well and if you check it using our joystick as you can see using our joystick it works as well as you can see okay minus one 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 and then minus one okay so it works uh, on the mouse and on the joystick once we are reading the camera inputs now it's time to separate the vertical and horizontal so i will simply copy that and what i'm gonna do actually is cut this whole thing move it right there and then paste it again right here and now change this to camera input x and then camera input y that's it now let's scroll down and right here 
Now we're going to say camera input x equals to camera input dot x. Okay. And then camera input y equals to camera input dot y. Okay. Now we can make this private and this vector too as well. That's it. Get back to the game again and right here click on this uh, main camera and right click on it actually and click on this create empty parent. Okay, and when you create an empty parent in here, name this as camera manager and then click on this main camera again and click on create empty parent again and this time let's name this as camera pivot that's it now in here let's create a c-sharp script by the name of camera manager and let's attach this script to our camera manager and that's it okay now in the next video we will make this camera follow our player okay